if you're interested in seeing how this trench coat gets a makeover, then I hope you keep watching. Um, the next thing I'm going to be updating a uh, raincoat. I got this from the Goodwill. There are aspects about it that I really like, but it needs some help to fit me properly. And I have some ideas. So it did have these crazy shoulder pads. I removed them already, but I pinned them back in just so you could see how crazy they look. Um, very big and bulky. So they're in there right now. That's gonna be the first thing to go. One of the things I do like is the color. Um, I like the length of it. I like how much room I have to work with. So it's pretty big and baggy. Um, my absolute favorite thing is this pleating in the back. So any updates to this, I'm gonna keep that for sure. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the shoulder pads. The next thing I'm going to do well, maybe not in this order, but I am also going to remove this thing here. I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to use these little straps. And I'm going to add belt loops here. because I want a way to take the waist in. I want it to be attached, so I'm gonna put belt loops on the sides. And my plan, when this is buttoned and when it's tied, is so that I can pull it backwards. So pulling it back and then to the front gives a nice form fit, and I'll show you how that's gonna look after. Then I'll be able to interchange different belts with this, and I think it'll look cute. Okay, so I tied up the back and I don't want to take it apart. I really don't to, but so I'm going to try to describe what I did. It's pretty simple. This was a piece here. I had to make this a little bit longer because the straps were too short. So just imagine taking a belt loop. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you on, an, on something else. Okay, this is the easiest thing I found, this little roll of tool. So this is what I did with the belt so i put it in like this to start with and then instead of pulling these ends to the front i pulled them behind my back like this and pulled it slightly tight and then i went to make a knot around it like this but instead of just making the knot here i actually looped it around this piece here and made another knot here. And as you can see, that contains it. So that's pretty much exactly what I did here. And then I took the two end pieces and put them back through the belt loop like this. And then did the same thing on this side. And so then with the two ends, I tied another piece to make it longer and another one to this and my plan I originally was going to sew these two pieces together but when I tied them just to get an idea of how long it should be I liked how it looked so for now this is how I'm going to leave it and then this is going to hang and then I can tie it in the front that this top button 
shows here but these all the rest of the buttons are all hidden by this little flap the other thing I'm definitely going to do, which I toyed with the idea of just sewing this and changing it around, but I'm going to have to cut the sleeves completely off. Um, I marked this off. This is the, where my shoulder is. So this is where I'm going to cut the sleeve. I'm going to use the seam as the marker all the way from here up. But then once I get up to here, I'm going to make it a straighter line. Here I'm showing how I'm going to be taking this in. I just put this on kind of inside out so I could show I'm going to be shortening the um, armhole and then taking in the side just a little bit. So I need to mark exactly how much of the armhole I want to take in. And then I'm going to show how I'm um, setting that up with some safety pins in the next scene. And here's how it looks all done. I only had to take in just a small amount. So this is what I did for both sides. And then I'm gonna reattach the sleeves in a puffy style. So I want them to be kind of puffy at the top. And I'm hoping that I can gather the material in all of this sleeve and it'll be enough to make that puffy look and then tighten it up. And here I'm just showing how I made the puffy sleeve. So I matched up the seam on the sleeve and the coat and lined those up and then pinned them. And then I smoothed it out and I kept everything pretty smooth all the way up till it got to the top of the shoulder. And right before I started making the pleats, I actually lined up the seams at the top of the shoulder to the top of the sleeve just so that those would line up and then I started making the pleats. And when I made each pleat, I just pinned each one and then I sewed it. And then to protect the material from unraveling because I don't have a serger or whatever you're supposed to use to keep the fabric from fraying, I use this seam um, glue. It's like a fabric glue. It's permanent. You can wash it and it stays. That's what I used on the fabric where the sleeve connected to the coat. And then to reattach the lining, I just cut off the excess and then I use this um, steam a seam or hem guard. It's actually an iron on adhesive to connect the um, inside lining back to the bottom of the sleeve as you're seeing here. Then for the end of the sleeve, I wasn't really happy with the way it was holding, so I wanted to tighten it up 
and I got this material from Joanne. This is like a lace or embroidery piece. It's dark blue, it matches great with the coat. And I'm just gonna attach this to the end of the sleeve and then I'm going to bring it in with some um, elastic to make it cinched at the wrist. <laughs> 